Hello everyone, Muhammad Adil here and today we'll be discussing the venous system of the heart. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I've drawn the venous system of the heart, a diagram of uh, venous system of the heart. And this diagram is for from Snell as I think it's uh, relatively easy to draw. Okay, now the first most important vein and the largest vein of the heart is the coronary sinus. This is the coronary sinus in blank. It lies on the posterior surface in the posterior arterioventricular groove. It drains into the right atrium here and uh, it receives or uh, most of the other veins drains into the coronary sinus except for the anterior cardiac vein which directly drains into the right atrium. Okay, now we're going to see which of the veins of the heart drain into the coronary sinus and then into the right atrium. First up, the great cardiac vein. You can see here that it is it lies on the interior surface of the heart in the interventricular groove, the great cardiac vein. And there's then the middle cardiac vein which lies on the posterior surface the small cardiac vein here the posterior vein of left ventricle which is also on the posterior surface the oblique vein of the left atrium oblique vein of the left atrium here the right marginal vein which drains into the small vein, the left marginal vein. Now these are the veins that drain into the coronary sinus and then into the right atrium. The two veins that actually don't drain into the coronary sinus are the interior cardiac vein, this one on the interior surface, and the smaller veins which are not that important known as the vena cordis minimi okay now let's look into these veins into a little bit more detail okay now the coronary sinus which is the largest vein of the heart situated in the left posterior coronary sulcus all the or the posterior atrioventricular groove it opens into the right atrium and these are the veins that drain into the coronary sinus the great cardiac vein it accompanies the anterior interventricular artery or the LAD left anterior descending artery the middle cardiac vein which accompanies the posterior interventricular artery. The small cardiac vein, which accompanies the right coronary artery. The posterior vein of the left ventricle, which runs on the diaphragmatic surface of the heart. That is the inferior surface. The oblique vein of the left atrium, which is on the posterior surface of the left atrium the right marginal vein which accompanies the marginal branch of the right coronary artery and the left marginal vein these are all the veins that drain into the coronary sinus and then into the right atrium the one or two veins which do not drain into the coronary sinus is the anterior cardiac vein which runs on the anterior wall of the right ventricle and it opens directly into the right atrium. The vena cordis minimi which is the smallest vein which are the smallest veins they don't really they aren't really that important 
Now, as you can see that there are a total of 10 veins, but not all are that important. And even if you are able to write seven or eight veins in an exam, you will still be able to get full marks or uh, four out of five marks for the question. So there we are with the winner system of the heart. I hope you enjoyed with this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And as always, take care everybody and good luck for the prof.